Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. We're here with... Daniel. <laughs> Daniel's back. We're back in his man cave and we're going to do a, like a review about this absolutely crazy arcade machine he built. He did a completely new machine and oh boy, it's going to be epic. Let's take a look. Yeah. Hey hey, it's just awesome that you're still tuned in. So in this video, we are going to take a close look at this absolutely over the top arcade machine. And this is a machine I would love to have in my own man cave someday. This is an absolutely one of those like say crazy machines Daniel make. But let's talk about Daniel because I met this guy a couple of years ago. The first time I met him is just he had this awesome let's say video about a custom made Pandora's box case. But when you're looking at this channel now, a couple of years later, he did absolutely crazy projects. People can contact him and make their own unique machines. He also made like a four part basically video where he explains and shows how he makes these crazy machines. How cool is that? But in today's video, we are going to take a close look at his latest project. But when it comes to Daniel builds, everything is over the top and the best you can get. So what you're going to get is an over the top control panel with everything like a spinner a flight stick and also like a trackball daniel really loves his ultimark and i completely understand because of the quality but i understand of him like this is like the premium ultimark with rgb lighting including the ball tops then we have like rgb lighting under the freaking like trackball everything is rgb lighted and of course configured with the software with hyperspin so when you're going to play a certain game it's going to be configuring a certain kind of button set but take a consideration depending on what kind of button you're used to. For example, Samba that have like a short travel. These are like quite long travel, but they have a very nice touch to it. A little bit of also like the hollow buttons they call them. I really like them. Okay, the joystick, he has used the Ultimark RGB joystick. So this is like the more expensive one. With Ultimark, the RGB ball top is more like an extra. And of course, it's going to be like premium with Ultimark. And of course, RGB buttons and joysticks when it comes to this. And not to forget, we can even automatically like mess around with it with the light up feature. The joystick itself, you need to get used to it. Because it's a completely different quality when I'm used to. And of course, the trackball is a very nice trackball and i can tell you it plays absolutely amazing and this is beautiful i really love like the resistance of the trackball and that is something that you're going to get with these high quality trackballs but for fun let's try a couple of games with daniel it's it's a like spell, this, yeah. Another awesome feature he implemented in his cabinet is, of course, the spinner. Oh, die gaat prima nu, zeg. Dit is wel leuk, zeg. Hij ja, doet dit als een jekko. You're losing the ball! Don't lose your last one! Another awesome feature he also implemented with all of these other products so far I know is the Ultimark flight stick. The flight stick is just a very cool fun add-on simply because if you're going to play with some let's say shmups or another game it's absolutely great. It comes with a very nice like clicky feeling and of course two buttons for shooting and maybe like your super when playing a certain kind of game. And that is what I really like about this is that we also have the option to play with the flight stick so just let's play a couple of games with that. Oh, you can't do it here, mate. And now? 
And when you think you have seen it all, the Stream Deck is one of those features we also have seen in this previous video. But with the Stream Deck, you can like implement, like say, shortcuts to certain games or settings. For example, if you want to set the joystick to four, eight way, or you just want to mess around with a light up feature or some other thing, you can always like configure everything in the Stream Deck. And it's absolutely a great addition. So for example, you have like your favorite games, you can push on Mortal Kombat, for example, and it will automatically boot up into Mortal Kombat. Super easy. So you have like a special favorite list on a physical device. A very cool feature, he implements most of his cabinets. The customer also wanted the Wii center bar. I completely understand because you can actually play the Wii games as they basically should be played. And also for shooters. Then we also have like this tiny display, another display, but this time inside the panel itself that just shows what kind of platform you're actually playing. I think it's pretty damn cool. But that's not all, like we have like even buttons at the side for pinball, extra USB port at the front for if you want to connect something, the on off switch, and of course the volume control, and a button for launching with pinball. So at the left side we're going to get ourselves the same Ultimark, like high quality buttons, so where I can play some games for pinball, with of course the nudge button. The USB, I think that is a very interesting, but also a very handy choice if you want to plug in something extra, like a racing wheel or something. So then we have like at the front, the on and off switch and some control buttons. He also implemented two extra, like say, LEDs that you can just adjust or turn on and off with the tiny sensor button at the front. And he made the decision to basically like implement the controls for volume, bass, and the treble at the front of the cabinet. So you can adjust it fairly easy, but we're going to talk about it later when it comes to the audio quality and how it looks. Another feature I think is unique, but also so cool. He implemented four extra controllers at the bottom. So if you want to play some games with just a controller, you can just grab it, power them and connect them with the PC. And also it's just a finishing touch that Daniel does. Like you have this cool like cover, you can open it up with magnetic closures. Four very cool looking controllers, matching colors, and of course Xbox One controllers. I really love that they choose for the Xbox One controls simply because I'm a big fan of them and they play very comfortable. And the thing that I even more like about it, if you want to turn it on and off, you can just plug it back in here in the stand. And with the USB hub, you can just turn it on and off which control you want, so you don't need to plug it in and out. The machine has been powered by MPC, what you can see at the front glass. I personally really love the look. So it's an AMD Ryzen CPU in combination with a GPU, an NVIDIA RTX graphics card. And of course this combination needs to be like pretty powerful to run every single display in this machine on high quality. Also the emulators will be put to 1080p even like to 4K to having like the maximum emulation performance. Not to forget the stack or Platis disk, 48 freaking terabyte that store all of your games. So I think it's one of the biggest setups I have ever seen. And I can tell you with a machine like this, your dreams will come true. You can play every single game that has ever been made. And yeah, it's just flabbergasted when you see it and you think about it and you scroll through the list. Basically, it feels like endless of like options you can play with this. But such a powerful, but as I said, like overkill machine is needed. To begin with, we have a, like a freaking like LCD marquee. So every single time you go into search like to a certain platform or you want to play in a certain game, it will change out the marquee too. So besides have like an LCD tiny panel inside of the control panel, we also have like an LCD marquee. So it's absolutely crazy if you think about it, how much, let's say, stuff do you need to process when it comes to playing games. Here in the inside, we will find all the connections and the PCBs for the LCD marquee. But what we also can find is of course the speakers. He is using high quality Visaton, like a speakers for the mid and the high. And I can tell you these things sound absolutely amazing. And there are like four ohms. This is the FR10HM. And the combination with the Logitech subwoofer, this 2.1 kit is sounding absolutely epic. And not to forget, we can just adjust the volume and the bass at the front. So how convenient is that? And for the main screen, he is using a high quality one, a 32 inch size. Not the biggest monitor, but way big enough for this machine. Yeah, 
my duck back there already. <laughs> they, they took our job. <laughs> So in his previous build he made like a four player configuration but this is just a two player but it doesn't matter this thing is even like crazier than the previous one simply because of the way how he configured had like way more storage capacity and also like have so much more to offer. He built this machine especially for the customer for example he had like the Wii sensor bar that he didn't have with his previous build. I understand the customer wanted to have a two player and his previous build was a four player configuration but he also wanted to have like four controllers automatically attached so basically Daniel can make the things that you're really dreaming of let me know in the comments what do you think of the machine contact like daniel if you have any more questions he's basically the builder of machines and not to even forget check out his youtube channel subscribe to our channels hit the little bells and it would be great to see you in the next video